Hi cozy friends! Today we are finally, 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 finally doing a room slash desk tour. I have a couple little tasks to do before I do the full tour, so you'll see that. But let's just get into it. Quickly, before we get into anything else, we have a very exciting sponsor for today's video, and it's Dime Beauty. I love trying out new brands, and I've gotten to try this one for the past three weeks. Absolutely in love, and my main love of this company is the fragrances. I will talk about those in a second, but I want to touch on why I love this company so much, which is that they focus on sustainability. They have eco-friendly glass packaging, which is really cool, and they use clean ingredients, so vegan, cruelty-free, and no harsh chemicals, which is literally life-changing for perfume, and I will talk about that in a second, but I do want to share that I'm gonna have a link in the description. I'll have a link right here in the QR codes. Y'all know I love my QR codes. And I have a 20% off code and it's Cozy K20. Okay, getting into the perfumes. Perfumes were the reason why I wanted to try this company because y'all know I'm a fragrance girly. I love my perfumes. I have a huge collection, but my problem with a lot of them is that I will sneeze when I use them because there's a lot of harsh chemicals in them. Finally, 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 Dime Beauty is delivering. These two scents, Seven Summers. First of all, how beautiful is this bottle but seven summers the warm cream scent with a touch of vanilla lavender this reminds me kind of of the same scent profile as like cloud baccarat 540 it's the same family as like those scents those kind of tend to feel like a dinner scent and this feels like transitional like it could be a day scent or it could be a dinner scent i think it's just the clean ingredients that make it so light and airy Ugh. same family if you love those if you've tried those you will love love this scent this one is lovely sweet dreams honestly it's kind of similar to that one but it's a little bit more like beachy i would wear this on vacation bring summer vacation i would wear this probably year-round outings dinners brunches things like that and beautiful packaging something that i love having on my little stand right here along with my jewelry and my other perfumes if you're like Kennedy, I don't know. Like, I don't know which one. There's so many. They have a little sample kit. I brought this on a trip with me and it was so fun to just like try out different ones every day. You're getting enough uses to like know which one you'll like and which one you want to spring for. So that is a good option. So if you want to try some of my new favorite perfumes, definitely try them. I'll have a link in the description. I'll have the QR code here. I have the Cozy K20, 20% off code. And Dime also has some other extra things going on this month. They have a Love Your Skin bundle, so it has all the skincare essentials. And then they have the Works bundle, which is their best-selling bundle, all their classic skincare stuff. So thank you, Dime Beauty, for sponsoring this portion of the video. I appreciate it very much. Let's get back into it. Okay, one of the main things I want to do today is I got a new monitor. It's the exact same monitor. I love it. It's amazing. It's the BenQ monitor. It's linked in my storefront, but I loved it. So I wanted to get a second one because I've shifted how I stream And so having two monitors is not enough You know when you see those like huge setups and they have like three monitors and then two on top But I've always been like what's the point of that? But now I get it now I get it and the more I'm like editing things having three is kind of this it's not necessary, it's not necessary, but it will make my life so much easier. So that's why I got a third one and I got a second one of the one that I really, really, really like. I'm gonna set that up, basically, is what's gonna happen. monitor stain I got basically just that they're on the same height there we go yay look at that I know this is blocking it there we go wow it's so beautiful yay okay here's my problem this is the HDMI cord. The only slots I have open on my computer are, I think they're called DP, DP display ports. So I'm gonna need one and it's too short. It won't, it won't fit. So I think I need like a custom like display port. Let's see what we've got, let's see what we've got. Okay, we have a 4K, 10 feet HDMI to display port. Perfect. The only other thing is I don't know if I have a plug. We'll see. I think I do, but I wonder if it's too much. <laughs> I fear my house will go up in flames, you guys. Okay, as long as this turns on. Ooh, Sheila! Right? As long as it turns on, we're good. Oh, okay, this one turns on. 
but this one just turned off and I think I just turned this on. So I need to get these, <laughs> get these synced, but that's kind of nice because I can just use one remote. It's functioning, it's working. We just have to wait until tomorrow to get the deal dealing. Hey y'all, guess what came in? Guess what came in? It came in yesterday. So it came in literally the day after I ordered it. Yay, let's put it in, let's put it in. Yay. Let's turn it on. Wait, I'm gonna leave this here. I'm gonna set you on my new Margaritaville Crocs. <laughs> Aren't they fun? <laughs> Hello? <gasps> my computer just freaked out. <laughs> what is happening? I've got it back so this one is portrait. Okay, yay! So I have the orientation set up, but I wanna see if I can make at least, cause this one's just gonna have a different coloring in general, it just is, unfortunately. But I wanna see if I can make at least the desktop background the same as this by editing it in Canva to like make it pinker, does that make sense? We're gonna try, we're gonna try. Okay, now it's too, it's too pink. It's too pink, but it still looks yellow on here. I cannot tell. On here it looks so different. Just, I feel like, it's, it's less the picture and it's more like this monitor cannot pick up those colors like that. It's still not picking it up. I feel like that might be the best, the best match so far, but it's still not picking it up. Like this is so pink in person. It's so pink in person. You see how different these tints are? Do you see how different that is? This is the one right here that I'm using on this monitor. I would say we tried our best and mostly succeeded. So that's one of my big updates. Another update that I didn't record was setting this up. So I finally took off these two that were both on shelves on top of my bed. And I just replaced it with this. And it's just a little bit lower than the other two were. So I feel like it like it's just a better flow. Um, and then I have bed sheets that I showed y'all. Definitely evoking some cozy cottagey vibes. Hey, Julia Baby. I need you to baby. So I'm gonna clean everything up and then I'm gonna do like a full tour. Because I have never had a full tour. My desk. And that's just silly. Let's get into the tour. Hi y'all. It's finally room tour time. Let's do this. This is how I enter my room. Straight forward over here is my dresser. I usually have some candlesticks here. Uh, Chila just knocked them over and broke them in half, so there are candlesticks here normally. Then I have my perfumes over here that I use the most, and then I have my jewelry here that I use the most. I have a lot of jewelry from Moonflower Clay. You can see I have a couple books. I had this sent to me, Pom Pom. It's like a knitting magazine and it's so cute. And this is like a coffee table book and I've got, because I do my makeup here, I've just got so much makeup on it. So put that there, but I just like having like a little elevation kind of just like layers. And I have a couple candles and another perfume and I'm pretty sure this is a fire hazard, but I don't light these that often. I really don't. I only light these for like pictures or something. I never really light these. Then I have this cute little like baby's breath and a little vase over there and this mirror I got from home goods I believe it's kind of it kind of bothers me because no matter how many times you clean it it kind of has this gross like film on it but I do like the shape and then I've just draped like a little wreath from Target around it this lamp I put in kind of recently I just feel like it was so dark over here like I have these skylights here on either side what and it's still never bright enough like it almost makes it even darker <laughs> to have like light up there and then like this little cave over here so i got this within like the past six months and i really like it it's from amazon and it's adjustable so three different dimness levels we'll move over to my bedroom area which is kind of the next thing that you see i love my bed i spend a lot of time here there's me again hey also everything is linked in my throne storefront i have literally everything linked there like if i don't have anything linked there please comment but everything should be linked there if it's not linked there it's because i got it somewhere random and like you can't find it anymore this beautiful painting i don't know where it's from but it's linked it's kind of just like a print on like canvas paper and it's super light so it's really really easy to hang up like it literally took three nails and i just like boop hung it up all of my bedding is like target or brooklinen so this is brooklinen all of the like big fluffy pillows are from target 
and then I'm gonna sit on my bed to talk about this area. Bedside table, I got this from Facebook Marketplace. It's originally from West Elm. And then I have kind of the books that I'm reading. I have some more coffee table books over here that I have. I normally don't have turned around, but I did have them turned around for something I was filming. <laughs> They're like garden books that I got from Home Goods. And I have my little Google Home clock. I think I wanna get a new like bedside table clock because this one's just like doesn't really fit the aesthetic, but it is helpful. And then I used to have this by my desk, but I moved it over here to add some texture to this wall because I just felt like it was lacking a little bit of texture. It's my fake plant. I think it's from Michaels. They have some good fake plants sometimes. I can't keep like a big real plant alive. I have one of my favorite lights from Gantry, this little Orby one, and then this one's from Amazon. And I like just like filling space because when that wasn't there, it kind of felt like empty space in that corner. So I really like filling space. Over here, I have just a floor lamp I got from Facebook Marketplace and this cute little thing I got from Target. These are fake plants. All of these are fake plants. I either got them from Michaels or Target and the little hanging baskets I got from Target. This I got from, ooh, I think it's called like Typo. This is like my fake side table. I got it from Facebook Marketplace as well. It's, it's really just hidden in the corner. This area is not really used or seen. And then I have a blanket basket down here. You can't really like see it but it it is gold um i have my two huge jumbo squishies woolly from room factory and just a cute little pancake but moving to my windowsills i have just some candles like my candle cutter over here little candle um then over here i have a little air purifier i have my craft bin that just has like my abandoned moobles and knitting and crochet stuff and then i have some art stuff in here that i eventually want to crack into and that's a little cat bed they actually sleep in well at least this one does she sleeps in it she likes it because i have so many stuffies i needed somewhere to put them so i have this thing i think i got it from etsy it kind of hangs in the corner you can just put all your stuffies in it. it's kind of falling apart because i have so many i would do a stuffy tour but there's literally like, i promise you there's way too many that's my stuffies and then up here i have this little corner shelf because like i said i do not like empty space so i just put some like little crystallies and some candles and don't ask about the board i have some dnd dye and some more candles and i have some magazines and a little stardew valley book i think this is more my like eccentric less aesthetically pleasing aesthetically like curated like the other areas but it makes me happy to look at especially when i'm in my bed and i can just like look over at my stuffies you know i look over there i go wow I love those things. <laughs> this is my bathroom. I won't show it to you because I didn't clean it, but it's kind of a small bathroom. So next place I hope I can get a better bathroom. This is the wall across from my window over here. And I literally just have this Gustav Klimt woven piece on it that I got from Italy. A couple people have asked where I got it. It's from Italy, <laughs> just like a street vendor. I'm gonna do desk last. So we're gonna move over here. This is like my, just my TV shelving area. When I first moved in, I thought this thing was just like the weirdest little block. I'm like, what? I guess I can make it like an extension of my desk or something. But then I was like, oh my God, perfect TV viewing access right there. I can't believe I didn't turn it on. I have two separate like TV things because I hate the Roku interface. It's so slow that it drives me crazy. And this is just like, I literally got this TV for $40 from Facebook Marketplace. It works, <laughs> does what it needs to do. So I got like a Google, I forget what they're called. And it's perfect, perfect. These are usually what I have on in my room for ambiance anyway, so that's perfect. I have my shelves over here. These two little tiles, again, just filling space. Like I hated that there's space in between these two. So I found these two little tiles from Urban. These are just a lot of my little trinkets. I have some fake plants up there, a little BMO, like 3D printed switch holder. It's so cute. And some of my favorite like little characters, like Tonkatsu is one of my favorite, Gudetama is one of my favorite. And I love octopus. So I have a little like Dumbo op octopus there. And then I have the Stardew Valley vinyl prize possession. I have my like nostalgic things over here like my pixel chick and then i have a tamagotchi over there and then i have my keyboard collection so i have this scrabble one i have my matcha one and then i have like another green one back there and then here i'm starting like this little i like miniature food it's just a thing i'm obsessed with miniature food like food items so i found this thing recently at target it's like a little storefront and so i'm putting all the miniature food that i've collected and yeah hopefully i'll fill that out someday <laughs> okay i think it's desk time I'm finally. I'm gonna boot it up so that y'all can see like 
the screens and what they look like. I left one of my ring lights up just so you can see. Normally I have like a light here, I have a light over there for streaming and recording, but I like to take it down for like pictures and stuff, but I wanted to leave one up so you can see kind of more realistic desk setup. So I'll show you my shelves. So up here, this was a gift from Red Bull. It says, welcome back cozy gamers. It's a little picture of me and ketchup with a little picnic. It's so cute. I got this from Etsy, it's Fresh Fruit Friends. I just liked it, thought it was cute. I think it was a gift from Red Bull as well but I think the, the artist is like on Etsy. Got this from my best friend from For Christmas. Got this from my editor and friend, um, Eddie, for I think Christmas. I love this, again, filling space where there's any space. Just a little sconce with a candle in it. Some more fake plants. Got this from Red Bull. There's Chila, my keyboard, my Switch. I thought that was so cute. I have some stickers over here. I have my Stardew Valley print, my mushroom, little vase that I got from Albertsons brand. Um, and then these used to be above my bed, but I put them right here once I put that painting up. Now we have the full display, even though these displays in person, they match. Here, they don't match, but I promise you in person, the colors match. I customized this on Canva. It was said February and all the little like dates were different. So I customized that and then I made these two so that I can have them on each end of the monitor. I love it. I love it. I think it just matches so perfectly. My switch over here, which I've talked a lot about on my channel, but if you don't know, the skin is from Sticky Tech. I have it linked in my storefront all the time. The mushrooms are upside down, but these are from CB Customs on Etsy, these like little Joy-Cons. The mushrooms are from Amazon in my storefront. The little mushroom charm, I just recently got this. It's from Moonflower Clay on Instagram. This little rug, I got it from Etsy, but they have them on Amazon. Phone stand, I use this literally all the time and I love that it's green. I have my stream deck that I literally never use. I got it for Christmas. I think because I was streaming for the past two years without one, so now it just feels like a new thing I have to incorporate and that's hard for me. Change is hard. Then I have my toast lamp. This is also from Amazon, also my storefront. It switches on and off, but it's dead right now, so it does not switch on and off. I have my mic like system back here. I have my beloved cow headphones. They're Harvest Moon, they're really old, but I don't think they sell them anymore. I think they've been wiped clean out of the resale market. So this is from Grove Made. I think it's very nice. Grove Made has really pricey stuff, but it's really, really well made. So if you want something that'll last you like a long, long time, like your lifetime, it's a good investment, but it is pretty pricey. These are from like Lights USA or something. The only globe lights I could find that had gold here and clear here, this little retro speaker is from Amazon. They have it in cream too. It's very cute. This is my like recent love. It's from Grove Made. They sent it to me. Very appreciative because it is very expensive, especially if you get the like full wood one. Um, but it's so nice to have the monitors at like eye level and to have space to just like put all my crap because you can see I like to put crap. I like to actually use the space. The keyboard is one of the things I get asked about the most. It's from Amazon. It's only like $30, $40, which for a keyboard, a really cute one, that's really good. And it comes with a mouse that I really love because the clicking part of it is pretty silent. Normally they're like, <laughs> This one's really silent and I like the rollerball. I got this doing a UGC like photo campaign for Amazon or something. And I got it just to like, just cause I thought it would be cute to photograph. And I was like, I'm probably never gonna use it. And I love it. It's so good. I have a brown one like it too, but it's away in storage in my closet because it's super clicky. And this one is not, it's like very soft. This mat from Amazon. Desk, I've talked about a lot. I love it so much. It's real wood. And I added this drawer. It's really easy to add their drawers and they, I think they're like $100, $200 or something. Over here, I have a little candle. I have my mushroom mug. I got this from World Market, but they have them on Amazon. So this is actually my new favorite thing. My new favorite thing is having a stand for my journal. Um, it's like a cookbook stand from Amazon, but I just put my journal on it and it's really nice to be able to like see everything. Behind that, I have my second monitor stand that I got from Amazon because I wasn't about to pay full price for this. <laughs> another Grove made one. This is from Amazon. Honestly, it works just as good. Just not real wood and doesn't have like a little shelf. The speaker that I got when I had monitors that didn't have speakers and it was, it's a really nice speaker, but now these monitors have speakers. So it's kind of not worth it for me to like keep this charged and like boot it up and Bluetooth and all that. So now I just have it for like 
speaker, general speaker needs. I have my like cases over here. I have another gantry light. This one might be my favorite. I think this one's my favorite. It just looks so elegant on the desk and such a nice soft glow to it. I love it. And I have my Vitruvi diffuser, which I haven't used yet because I haven't been able to look up which of these is like pet safe. Back behind this monitor, I have my iPad and Alienware laptop that I absolutely love. I'm still obsessed with, I love that thing. And then here's my mic. Changed it out to a white stand recently just to like brighten it up. It does its job, but I think eventually I'll get a different one. And then I just wrapped some little vines around it from Michaels to make it look just a little prettier. And then right next to my desk, I have this cart because somehow I just keep piling, like the tech keeps piling up, the little knickknacks keep piling up. So I have them here. I have a little like desk vacuum here. I love it. She's so cute. And then I have the little baby toy I talked about in my favorites video. <laughs> I love it. Little fidget toy. I have my Alienware headphones and I have some markers and just cute little like mushroom guys and little scissors. Then this is like my travel tech so I just keep it there. I have a little like dry erase to-do board, but I don't really use it much anymore. Down here, I just have some random craft stuff, books, journals. And down there, I have just like filming stuff. So like camera, camera stuff. And then also there's my cat's litter box. But this is, I would say this is the one they use least, which is really nice because Chile used to use it a lot. Now they never use this. Like they never use this. So it's kind of just there for like nighttime when they just like get up to pee. And that's about it. That is is my desk y'all that's everything my whole desk setup explained <laughs> oh and how could i forget the ottoman from target i love that thing that's it y'all that's it i'm so excited to finally have a tour in the arsenal for y'all i'm gonna do one more run through in case you missed anything in case you want to ask about anything so much for watching if you have any questions if you like it if you think i should change something if you hate it i don't know let me know in the comments thank you for coming into my space with me i know everyone who watches my vlog sees this all the time it's nothing new for y'all but if you're new here i'm on instagram i'm on tiktok i stream cozy games on twitch three times a week and i post on youtube twice a week that's it i love y'all stay cozy bye